Hey guys, David here from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to move your applications on your G1 from the internal memory to the SD card, uh, which gives you a lot more space to put applications. Um, so here we go. First things first, you're going to take out your memory card and put it in the adapter that it most likely came with. Put that into the side of the computer. And then if it pops up on the screen, just ignore it. Okay, and then you're gonna open Paragon Partition Manager 9. Um, you can find this online somewhere. Um, this is just one way to do it. I'll tell you about the other way to do it. But this to me is the, the, the best way to do it, but it's up to you. Um, so you're gonna open it. You're gonna see the memory card down here show up. Then you're just gonna click Create Partition. Pretty simple. Um, when it asks you about the partition, you're gonna make sure that you partition it half, well, not half, part of it as FAT32 and the other part as EXT2. Um, make sure that the EXT2 section is no bigger than 1.5 gigs. Anything larger than that seems to mess up a lot of ROMs and, and give you some low memory warning like over and over and over, and over again, so it's, it's really not worth it. Um, 1.5 gigs is plenty, it's going to be a lot more applications than the 70 megs that you're used to having. So. Once you've done that, this thing's going to do its thing. It might even restart your computer to finish. Um, that's fine. Let it do all that. Then go to the unlocker.com. Find the how to save apps to your SD card in the G1 uh, block. And download these three applications. Save each one of them to your memory card to the root folder, which means the topmost folder. So that's this folder. See, it's got nothing else. just memory card, right? So you're just going to save them in here. So you can see two of them there, and then the other one's down there. Okay, after we've partitioned the memory card, we're going to put the memory card back in the phone. Go to settings. Go to applications. And make sure that unknown sources is checked. Uh, this allows us to install applications that aren't from the market. Um, now, you can... Uh, I would download like Linda File Manager is a good one. Um, this way you can access stuff on the SD card. And this is the other way to partition the card. Uh, one of the files that I gave you is the Apps to SD program. I'm not sure if it'll let you partition um, the card itself, uh, but it might. So basically, you're just going to click on the APK. You're going to click Package Installer, and it'll install the Apps to SD. If it pops up and says, would you like us to partition your memory card for you, go ahead and do that. Um, it might be easier than using Paragon for most people, but that's up to you. Um, so if you've already done it with Paragon and your card is already partitioned, um, then the next step is going to be to open Terminal. So if you don't already have Terminal, go download it. Just type in Terminal in the market. I should have it. Ooh, boy. Right there. Well, I'm going to make font size bigger here. There we go. Okay, so first things first, you got to type in SU to gain access to root. It may take a second and it might pop up with something. Oh, there you go, just like this. They always allow. And there you go. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a directory on the SD card. We're going to do that by typing this. D, oops, MK, DIR. Oops, my alt button doesn't work. There we go. Slash system. Slash app. Okay, got all that. And then hit enter. Tells me that the file already exists, but for you it won't say that because I've already made the file. Obviously. Um, then the next thing you're going to do is start typing this CP. Do 
do that, and then hit enter. I'm not going to do it because it's going to mess up my phone since I've already done it. Um, Scroll down to SD card and phone storage, and you should see a lot more than 70 megs for available space if you did it right. And that is it. Um, every application you install from now on will go onto the SD card instead of on the internal memory. If you have some applications on the internal memory that you want to get over to the SD card, click on the Apps to SD program, and then you click on Copy Apps to SD. Pretty simple. Um, it'll reboot the phone and everything, and after that you'll be all set. And that's it.